Hey everyone, Cliff here, and today I want to talk about Ethereum hitting at a new all-time high and Facebook rebranding to the name Meta. So let's get into it. The price of Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, has spiked over 10% in the last 24 hours to secure a new all-time high, just two days after eclipsing its previous record. The new all-time high for ETH is 44.16 according to data from CoinGecko. On Tuesday, October 26th, ETH coasted to nearly 4,300 before declining all the way back to below four grand. But yesterday, the network underwent its third upgrade in seven months, bringing Ethereum 2.0, a faster, more secure network, one step closer to fruition. The price of the asset has also been up from an August upgrade, the London Hard Fork, which instituted a deflationary mechanism. Instead of paying fees to miners who currently process transactions on the network, users now pay a base fee to the network, which promptly destroys it. Since reducing the rate of supply growth on the network, ETH has ascended from the mid 2000s to its current highs and so yeah i get the point here of upgrading ease that they're trying to make it deflationary also moving away from its per current um, proof of work mining platform which hopefully will be more eco-friendly uh, for some people who care about that uh, kind of bumps me out because my main mining crypto of choice is e so uh, you know once this is actually completed if if it ever is completed i will have to switch to a different currency so that kind of bumps me out because eth is definitely the most profitable currency to mine right now but we'll worry about that when we come to it so i actually have a website here that i found called watch the burn and you actually can see the amount of ethereum that's actually being burned now so it looks since the London hard fork, almost $3 billion has been burned of ETH. If we break that down by day, it's almost 71 million, which is just incredible. But yeah, that's definitely a pretty cool site. You can check it out. It'll actually show you who's on there watching. And uh, you can kind of see how much ETH is being burned off. I definitely wish I had that. Anyway, moving on to Facebook. Facebook, now Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg, announced the news today during a streaming keynote for its annual Facebook Connect event, which was heavily focused on the metaverse. The expected move was first reported by The Verge last week, although a final name had not leaked ahead of today. I think we're basically moving from being Facebook first as a company to being the meta verse first zuckerberg told the site so one thing i've kind of i've kind of thought about as i get older is when i am so old to the point that i'm not able to move around i'm not mobile anymore i kind of think like what would i do and one of the things that always came to mind is i'd be playing online games probably it's something to kind of keep me busy you know and still keep me active mentally so I guess when I think of this metaverse, that's just somewhat of an expansion on that where you can bring your own personal property into this. You can, it talks about um, having your own avatars that you can bring to your work meetings. That's, that's one thing that Facebook was already doing. They had like a teleconference set up where you could pick your own avatar kind of thing, but they're really expanding onto this to the point that you're, having property and just doing all kinds of sorts of things so i think it's pretty cool i'm really hopeful that when i'm older that i'll still be able to have a good time i guess you can say and um, have a place where i can still interact with people and be social so i think it's pretty cool i like that they're developing on this but with that of course there's going to be people that want to jump on the train anytime facebook has new news they definitely want to make some cash, but there seemed to be some confusion 
revolving around that. Metamaterials, which is MMAT for their ticker symbol, a Nova Scotia based material science company that makes nano composites and other advanced engineering materials, saw its US traded shares soar more than 30% in after hours trading Thursday before settling down to an 18% in the extended session. So yeah, basically people thought that this was Facebook's new ticker symbol and they pumped this company up like crazy. And there's actually a reply from the CEO on Twitter of Metamaterials. And he said, on behalf of Metamaterials, I'd like to cordially welcome Facebook to the metaverse, which I thought that was hilarious. He has a little cheeky, cheeky smiley face in here. So uh, that was pretty cool. If you're going to invest in a company, make sure you know what you're actually investing in. So you're not investing in something completely different. But anyway, that's that's pretty much all I got for today. If you liked the video, please leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next one.